Alternative sources of energy are critical for the long-term survival of our planet. Last year, over 140 billion gallons of gasoline were consumed in the United States. And most of our gas comes from fossil fuels. But there's potential in a new alternative fuel source that comes from a group of microscopic organisms that perform amazing chemistry. This group of organisms are the microalgae. I'll give three reasons why microalgae make a great source for biofuels. First, they can perform photosynthesis. They take up carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and with water, convert sunlight into chemical energy. This means they're self-sustaining and carbon neutral. Second, they naturally produce molecules that are precursors to fuel. They accumulate these oily droplets, which are made up of a class of molecules we call lipids. These lipids can be extracted and then converted to biofuels. And third, many species of algae are aquatic. We can cultivate them in water, including salt water or even wastewater, rather than using land, which could be used for growing food instead. This sounds great, right? But the problem is the overall cost of making algae-based biofuels is still too high to compete with conventional fuels. So we're still looking for the right strain of algae that will give us the most bang for our buck, the fastest growing, most efficient strain. Our collaborators across different national laboratories are screening for which strains of algae grow the best over a variety of conditions. Oftentimes, the most promising strains are new to us, so we know very little about their biology. The goal of my research is to characterize these new strains of algae. At the Joint Genome Institute, where I work, we sequence the genomes of candidate biofuel strains. The genomes act as a blueprint for those who perform the genetic engineering. We also evaluate how the algae respond when we change its growing environment. For example, we lowered the growth temperature and then saw different genes turning on in response. This helps us understand how the genes are functioning in the cell. From this work, I predicted several genes that could be involved in affecting the growth rate. And now the genetic engineers are testing these genes. Our work on the genomics is helping the genetic engineers create better strains. And better strains means higher production and overall lower cost. Each day, we're making steps towards the commercialization of algae-based biofuels. And I'm optimistic that someday soon, you will see algae-based biofuels at the gas pump. Thank you. Thank you.